All right, let's head to the Quaker State Garage and join Bill Gardner. Brad, email this week from our viewer Ron Young in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and Ron asks us, uh, could we please explain the difference in maintenance costs between normally aspirated engines and turbocharged or supercharged engines? Well, Ron, basically, you know, in most cases, the scheduled maintenance for most manufacturers isn't terribly different between normally aspirated and turbo or supercharged engines. You might be talking about a little bit more frequent oil changes, but there's not a whole lot of difference there. Where the key difference will be is when you get into servicing other items under the hood of those vehicles. If the car has, has a turbo or a supercharger on it, in many cases, that extra hardware and extra plumbing and ducting and components that are under the hood for those boosted engines is in the way when you're trying to service something else. So it means higher labor costs and you're just dealing with a more complex engine bay. Also, another key difference is when the car gets to be seven, eight, 10 model years old, and now you're getting into the more, uh, you know, into larger service items, bigger repairs, you, you have the possibility that maybe the turbocharger or the supercharger themselves fail. So all of a sudden, you know, you're talking about an expensive component that the, that, that the other car, the normally aspirated car, doesn't even have. So, you know, I don't dislike turbo and supercharged engines. I feel they have their place in high performance cars and sports cars, but in mainstream cars, if I had my choice between normally aspirated and a supercharged or turbocharged, I'd take normally aspirated every time. Perfect example is this car that I'm leaning on, the Kia Forte, 2.4 liter, normally aspirated four cylinder. There's another car in this market segment that uses a 1.4 turbocharged four. I know which one I'd wanna own when it's 10 years old, and that's this one, the normally aspirated engine. Not just this brand, just normally aspirated in general versus supercharged or turbocharged, you're gonna save money over the long haul, that's for sure. Till next week, I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring 2011. If you consider Motoring TV's been on the air for 30 plus years, there's no doubt you've missed a few episodes. Well, there's a couple of ways you can catch up and make sure you don't miss anything. First, you can go to YouTube and look up just segments or complete shows. Also, if you wanna know what we're doing like today on a daily basis, just go to our Facebook page. And also, you can go to motoringtvshop.com get some cool swag. Oh, there's also that Instagram thing.